to the stage. We should all yell out, take your clothes off, though. Take your clothes off! So many weapons, I think I'll be up to Alright, this, um, this is a true story. Alright. So, anyone speaking at the bar, this is a true story. Yeah. Has anybody been affected recently by a fake spiritual hippie? <laughs> You know the ones that think they've reached the ultimate point in spirituality the moment they get a tattoo on their body or some dodgy sacred geometry. <laughs> them same enlightened beings that then want to come and start mocking me because they see me on the beach with a tattoo of an arrow pointing towards my feet. <laughs> and I'm like, bitch, please, whatever happened to living and letting be? Whatever happened to all that love and peace? Why is it now all about dreadlocks, the flower of life, and chaya seeds? <laughs> Don't you know you need more than a uniform to understand unity? You need more than coming to the sanctuary for carrot cake that's apparently gluten-free. <laughs> and I don't give a fuck if you go to yoga five times a week, you'll never become a yogi. Your obsessive asanas make you look like an asshole who's got OCD on being overly posy. I see you in bamboo doing back bends just to turn your nose up at me. I hope you don't choke eating those organic twigs and leaves as you look down on everyone else who's eating cheese when you're the ones that smell like a cross between old cabbage and broccoli. And when I'm talking to your mates in Eden, Stop cock blocking me just because I'm walking a little bit wobbly. Who gives a fuck if my eyes are a bit wonky? I forgot you're too fucking high and mighty for an eye drop of the finest LSD. But let me guess, you get the same feeling naturally when you dance like a monkey in Daisy's cacao ceremony. Well, that's fine. You just keep living healthy and clean, smoking your roll-ups and drinking your coffee, but please don't let living ethically turn you into such a C-U-N-T so effortlessly. As I'm starting to look at you with pity, you fucking shitty spiritual hippie. You know, everything you do and say is a contradiction. And I'm hoping that you got pretty thick skin and that these words ain't even really gonna sink in. Because the fact I'm judging you with so much emotion must mean that you're mirroring parts of my weak reflection. So I ask myself, who am I? A fake spiritual hippie? No, 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 no. I can't be. I talk about the universe in every verse of my poetry. I'm real. I've been to more meditation retreats than Gandhi. I talk to extraterrestrials every time I smoke DMT and they told me that one day I'm going to be living in a community with no electricity or polyamorously because I am a real intergalactic, real spiritual hippie. And I know I may not look like one because I'm so fucking manly, but I only look like this way because I go to gym five times a week, but I'd still never be posy. I'd still never judge anybody for what they eat. <laughs> Unless they're eating unhealthy things like Mackie D's or some of this Thai stuff with all the MSG, but that's just because I really care about the human anatomy. <laughs> but I, I would never be nasty or say bad things to a group of people just because they don't fit into my category. Except for pseudo hippies and people in the army. But that's because I'm all love and peace and I embrace everybody wholeheartedly. Because I'm a real spiritual hippie. So if any of you fakes start to judge me with any of your bogged out forms of negativity, just remember one thing, and that's that you are the same as me. Same, same, but slightly differently. Sober or not, life is totally trippy. As I ask myself, who the fuck am I? A fake spiritual hippie? <laughs>